Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here playing some more Warhammer Combat Cards campaign mode and we're doing another campaign from this Eldar vs Necron campaign uh, but this time we have switched over to Drukhari working on unlocking these birds and I'm going with the full keyword deck once again uh, all of these units are Dark Eldar and we're running Rakarth and um, I think the Pain Engine and the grotesque work pretty well with Rakarth. But I noticed pretty quickly that the Jukari are not really as well equipped to deal with uh, the Necrons as are some of the other factions. I managed to get up to level 30 before losing two games in a row. So, I don't know, I guess Jukari don't have any Psykers, and s including Psykers in your deck can be pretty good because the uh, Necrons don't have any psychers, of course, so taking advantage of that, that might be a good idea, but um, if you're just going with all Drukari, that will not be an option. With uh, Rakarth in ranked mode, I like to run uh, more powerful melee units like the Solitaire and Jane Czar, and these uh, bodyguards are ordered in some weird way, so I can't actually find what I'm looking for here. Now oh, there she is. Yeah, so Jane Czar is another good one with Rakarth, but uh, since we are just going for the Dark Eldar, those will not be making it into the deck. Instead we've got Drazhar, who has Big Game Hunter, he's pretty decent, and then uh, we've got some other ones that I haven't really used as much, the Parasite Engine, which can do a little bit of healing, the Razorwing Jet Fighter, and then some weaker fodder units. So, let's go ahead and deploy and see uh, how this works out. This is a uh, level 28 in the campaign. And once you get to this level, you start to see some really big units. Uh, the, uh, you know, there's the, the Void Dragon, the Sun Eater, the Tomb Stalker. I've seen all of those come out. So we are up against Imotech. The Stormlord at level 5, that is a very high level. Scary Warlord there, so we're going to put down our ranged units. I try to go for the ranged offensive at the beginning, and just try to get some of the weaker bodyguards out early, like uh, this Akathist. This thing does like no damage, so there's really not much point in saving it to the end, uh, in my opinion. So, right there, uh, they already got one... Uh, bolt in from the Stormlord special rule. We're gonna put down the Scourge over on the left. It has outflank And the enemy actually has the initiative which is surprising. I guess the deck I'm running doesn't have the highest initiative It's about 40. I didn't actually catch uh, what the enemy's initiative was, but they are taking the first turn and destroying the Akathist So that was pretty quick and not really getting the ideal cards here at the beginning, uh, but we do want ranged units on the field, I think, so I'm just going to put down the Parasite Engine and just start shooting away. Although, actually, I think I'm actually going gonna, gonna to ready up here and try to um, go with a ranged attack that can actually destroy stuff in one turn uh, in the next turn. Right there, one's gun going for a melee attack, and whenever an enemy readies, they can deal 20 damage to one of my units at random. Okay, still not that great. Actually, still unable to destroy anything, so yeah, this is really not a very good start to the game. And Rakarth, I mean, Rakarth does perform pretty well in ranked mode, but in the campaign, he's not quite as fun to play uh, as, say, the Zephyr Blade, I think, because... He has no way of buffing his units, and unlike any of the other Eldar Warlords. So you just have to deal damage with your bodyguards, and um, it can get pretty difficult towards the end game. Alright, so let's put down... We'll put down the, um, the Pain Engine over here on the right, across from the Scarab Swarm. Coming up against endless units is a bit of a bonus because uh, when they respawn you can uh, gain some extra health off of them. 
uh, with Ricard's special rule. But we've been able to continue with the ranged attacks here, which means that we're charging up a pretty big melee attack. Hopefully that will be able to do some serious damage in the late game. But now they have some pretty big uh, ranged units on the field. The uh, This thing, the Doom Scythe, is now debuffing my melee. So uh, forget what I just said. I'm not going to be able to charge up much of a melee attack while that thing's on the field. But with the next ranged attack, we'll actually be able to take down uh, this guy, the Lich Guard and the Scarab Swarm, and then bring out the final two bodyguards. But it's just an uphill battle from there because um, not only are these last two bodyguards probably going to be pretty big, we also remember have to deal with the um, the Stormlord himself at level five, which is going to be pretty scary. Okay, so. The Cryptek is actually a pretty small unit there, so that's the, the weak link. We're going to have to try to go through the center lane, I think, and to make it to the Warlord. But they've got this uh, this guy, the Nightbringer, over here at level 6. The thing has fear, making it a little more difficult to take down. I think we're going to go with... Well, I do want to take down the Cryptek. We'll put down the Witch over here across from the Nightbringer. And I, I guess go for a ranged attack again. Just work on poisoning some of the enemies. and So they'll be taking 5 damage at the end of each turn from the poison. And down goes the Parasite Engine. So they're actually able to retaliate with a, quite a bit of ranged damage there. So Do I want to poison all 3 of their units? Sure, we'll just go for that. Move the pain engine over to the left. And now we've actually poisoned everything on the field. Alright, this is not really ideal though, because um, I did want to save that melee attack for the very end. But we're not actually going to be able to get through the cryptic with a ranged attack here, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the the melee attack. I may uh, regret that, but we're just going for it. And the witch gets destroyed over there by the Nightbringer, and now we have to deploy our final bodyguard. And here comes the Stormlord. I think I'm going to move the pain engine back over to the center so we can poison the Stormlord. We've got Drazar over on the left. Yeah, Dressar and the Grotesque have a decent amount of health, but that Pain Engine is going to... It's not going to last very long against the Stor Stormlord, that is for sure. And Rakarth, of course, he did actually get his melee attack buffed just a little bit uh, this season. So he does a bit more damage than he used to, but um, compared to the Stormlord, that's really not going to do much. So we are going to go with the melee attack. Dressar does a little extra damage because of Big Game Hunter. Unfortunately, unable to take down the, the Doom Scythe, though. But everything is poisoned, so they are taking some damage from there. Will we actually be able to make it to the end? That is the question. Okay, the Grotesque does survive. That is actually pretty, pretty big. Okay, and now we'll be able to take out the Doom Scythe with Drazhar. Rakarth should be able to tank a little bit. And when he deploys, he heals up my units by 10% with the Medicaid. That's 10% of their original health, not uh, their current health. Okay, and the Grotesque actually just has barely enough damage to take down the Nightbringer, so that was fortunate. Able to isolate the enemy Warlord. And it looks like Rakarth We'll probably be able to pull through here, I think in large part thanks to the poison that uh, was slowly bleeding their units dry over time. But now Drazhar will be able to take 
his blades to the Stormlord directly. Again, benefiting from the big game hunter there. For 71 damage, and then the grotesque finishing the job. So they, the enemies didn't actually deploy anything too massive at the end. Uh, there was the, the Nightbringer, which is perhaps, I think, the weaker of the the Catan shards, but... But yeah, uh, another turn or two, and then, uh, I don't know, the, the battle could have gone the other way there. So, yeah, that is uh, how the Drukari play, though. I'm, I don't know, I think I might just uh, swap to a slightly stronger build, though. It would be nice to unlock uh, more of these birds, but um, I'm debating whether to, to go for the mission rewards or just try to go for a high as high a rank as possible. And also with Rakarth, like I said, the games do take a little bit uh, longer because he's unable to gain any extra damage. So I did enjoy using this Zephyr Blade a little more um, in the campaign. So I may or may not switch back to him. Who knows? But yeah, that is it for this campaign. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.